This is Twit. Dan from Fresno has been waiting very patiently. Hi, Dan. Hi, Jason. How's it going? Um, it's doing great. I am hanging in there, uh, running. It's hard to fill Leo's shoes. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. What's your question? Um, I've been having an issue where somebody keeps trying to log in using my Apple ID. Oh, so man. I get the message on my iPhone that somebody's trying to connect. You know, do I want to allow it or not? I have two factors set up, so I'm not real worried about them knowing my my you know email and password. But when I'm when they do this and I'm watching something on, say, my Apple TV, it knocks me off the stream and I have to go back in and restart it. And it happens a lot, All right. especially on the weekends. And so I was wondering, is there a way to disconnect? I'm assuming they're just, they just know my email address. Is there a way to like disconnect the email address that I have now and, and use a different one? But I, you know, from what I've been reading, when I do that, but sometimes you can lose like in app purchases and and things like that. And I don't know if you know anything about that. Right. So the um the thing you want to do, so Apple's got some stuff about it, and this is a tough one. I have some, not my Apple ID, but I have some services where I, where I got Jason as my username, and I thought, I am so awesome. And then I realized everybody named Jason in the world was going to hit the password reset button on that, and I get those things all the time, and it's so annoying. Um, and the and I, I have friends who this happens to them, and I can't decide whether it's they've got common email addresses or whether they're being pranked by somebody. But either way, it is really awful. So... There, there are a few different ways to do it. One thing I want to recommend is there's a, a, a website you can go to that's appleid.apple.com that allow, you can actually log in and do. There's a lot of stuff there. You can see all the devices that are logged in with your Apple ID. Um, it's pretty powerful. So you can go to Apple ID. So, so what Apple recommends is that you sign out of all your devices and then you go to appleid.apple.com and you can click an edit button and actually click change Apple ID and um, and then change your Apple ID. So Apple will let you change your Apple ID. They'll also let you change the email address associated with the Apple ID. But it sounds like the way, the place you have to do it is at appleid.apple.com, which is a website a lot of people just don't even know about. But it's kind of amazing when you go there. It knows every device you've ever logged into with your Apple ID and a whole bunch of other stuff, too. It's actually really useful. So that may solve your problem, I hope. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's somebody that has the same email address, the same name, because I use my first name, a middle initial, and my last name. Yeah, so it's... You know, and, and so it's it seems more like somebody trying to... And they're pretty persistent. They try once, and then a couple of minutes later, and then they'll wait about 15, 20 minutes, and they'll try two more times, and it keeps happening. You'd be surprised so. how many people don't know what their email address is, <laughs> and I know that sounds ridiculous, <laughs> but and, and the, the, the world is big enough that they, there may be somebody yeah. out there who has your same initials, because I, I have had, I have a friend who gets emails all the time for somebody who is a professional person and they give out their email address to clients, and it's not their email address. And I've had that with. Uh, right. There's a Jay Snell um, that uh, that is a I think a, like a Jennifer Snell who's like a wedding photographer, and I I would get emails all the time from wedding couples saying, "Are we on for for our reservation for our wedding?" And I I actually had to write them back and and say, "I'm so sorry, they did not give you the right email address." So you'd be surprised that um, that it may just be somebody who's clueless and doesn't understand why it doesn't yeah. work and then remembers and then forgets again. But go to appleid.apple.com and see, because that's going to be your best chance. And if that doesn't work, if you get frustrated, call Apple support because I bet they will help you. But if you can do it yourself on the website, I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Okay, I'll do that then. All right, thank you. Great, thank you. That was great. I Maybe I helped somebody there. It's always nice when we help somebody. 